Oh man, like you said, here talking about a win is awesome. Um, it's a lot more dominant than the last one I had last uh, July, so I'm happy with the win, but I'm kind of bummed out now sitting back thinking like, fuck, like, I, I, I can curse, right? Yeah, I'm not qualified for the playoffs with that, I'm pretty sure, so that sucks, but um, New York's my backyard, and if something happens, somebody gets hurt or anything like that, short notice, I won't say no to Yeah, yeah, I was surprised that not, I knew he was going to be tough. Um, I was more surprised. Um, I thought he would more so force scrambles when I had him on the ground, and I was obliging. I was kind of giving him space to force a scramble to try to get up, and I thought that's where I would capitalize and be able to get his back, be able to choke him out, or be able to catch another submission that I've been working. Um, so I was more surprised with his uh, willingness to just try to strike off his back and not try to force a stand up. Is there any kind of disappointment that you couldn't use elbows? Because I think <laughs> Great question, and I see all you guys are thinking about it. Yeah, 100%, because there was positions, obviously, where I could have elbowed. But then on the, on, on the flip side of that, there were positions that he could have elbowed too. So um, give or take, it's a give and a take, but I definitely would have. I'd much rather be able to eat some of his elbows than just to be able to deliver some of mine from there. So, yeah, that kind of stings a little bit. And you mentioned New York. Um, is the thought to kind of go in and just have a fight? Is it maybe to offer as an alternate? Yeah, as, as an alternate would be awesome. <laughs> Obviously, that'd, that'd be cool because uh, I think they're doing the finale in New York too. So, if anything, I get on that finale card in New York. Um, it just makes sense for me to fight in New York. I'm seven and zero New York. I pack the place out every single time I go to New York. I mean, I fought in Vegas and I had a, a bunch of fans and friends. I fight in Georgia and I have a bunch of fans and friends here. So, if put me in New York. I, the PFL wants me in New York. I want to fight in New York. So, yeah. Oh, it's meant everything to me. It's been, uh, it's been first, first and foremost, first thing that comes to mind, financial security, financial freedom. Um, it means absolutely everything to me. I'm having a daughter like any minute now. So I'm leaving tomorrow at 7 a.m. I have my third daughter. So just to have uh, that, uh, fi that sense of financial stability. She, my wife's a stay-at-home mom, and to be able to provide for my family, doing something I love to do. Like, I, I love this shit. I get to do this, you know what I mean? Not a lot of people get to do what I do. And it's, it's, you're, and you're backstage every time, you're like, shh. Why do I do this? Like the comfort zone is so comfortable. I can just stay home and get a nine to five. Like, oh, but nothing great ever comes from the comfort zone. And when I'm on my deathbed looking back, these are the moments that I'll remember. Those, those moments that uh, I was scared, I was nervous. And um, it's more so not nervous about the, the, the fight, it's just nervous about failure. And, but putting your, yourself in those positions, I feel like that's what life all, is all about. Well, congratulations on the soon to be new daughter you have. Thank you, thank you. Um, you know, you've, you've had a pretty storied career just, just up until this point. Um, not only do you, you know there's a lot left, but what do you think your legacy is at this point and the message you've sent to the fans? Oh, I, that's a great question. I, I feel like I don't, I don't want to answer that question because I don't want to toot my own horn. But uh, just that I'm a fan-friendly fighter. I'm an exciting fighter. I'm a real person. I'm as real as it gets. Like I, 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 you get what you get when you, when, you have, when, you, when you have me. Not just fighting stuff, but the, the person that I am. Uh, I don't sugarcoat shit. I, I am who I am. So uh, I feel like that, that portrays my fights as well. Did it take a while to adjust to the, the PFL format? Or was that a format you looked at since that's appeared to me? I want to say I adjusted quick because the fight week and all that stuff has been super smooth, but the actual structure of it is way different. Obviously, I'm fighting every 10 weeks, so that, that is something I have to get used to. Um, so get, just get, I feel like I'm just getting started here. I just only my second fight in the PFL. I'm just getting warmed up. First win. Uh, the, first, the first fight I had was with the, the, the champ. Um, so, yeah, I'm just getting started. I always say that if I'm not happy with my performance because I don't think I've ever, like, 100% satisfied. With, I don't think I've ever been satisfied 100% with any performance, so that's the first thing I always say to them. They always tell me to shut up, uh, especially if it's a loss. I'm always saying sorry, so it's just one of those things, like, I hold myself in the highest regards, and I expect more from myself more so than anyone else does, so if I come up short even 1%, I just feel like I let people down, so I don't, I don't like that feeling. After that, after that first round, when maybe you didn't realize or you did, you weren't going to get those six points, uh, talk to me about that mental strength you must have had to go out into round two. Yeah, I, I had to just, like, I, I remember being in that position in the first round. I thought I had to finish. I thought, yeah, I, thought I was going to be able to ground and pound him out to a finish. Or, like I said, I'll, I'll be able to force a scramble. He kind of didn't let me – he didn't scramble. So it kind of just stalemated, and he went to, went to the decision. Then I was like, you know what, just focus on getting the win. If the finish comes, it'll come. Don't force it. So, yeah. yeah. And uh, last one for me. This is kind of a personal one. Um, I'm going to have my first child soon. Congrats. <laughs> Congratulations. So, do you have any advice for my husband as a dad? A uh, girl dad or boy dad? We don't know. 
Oh, God. If it's a girl dad, I'll strap up and get ready. I'd say that because I got two and I got another one on the way. And, man, my, my girl, I love them to death. I wouldn't trade it for anything. But, man, I got to see my cousin with he has three boys and I have three girls. And I'm like, dude, you got it so easy, man. These kids are like, they, 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 just, they don't care. Boys don't care. Girls are just like, my daughter is six years old. She, she'd be crying. And I'd be like, what, babe, what's wrong? She's like, I don't even know. I'm like, I just feel like crying. I'm like, look at my wife. She's like, what? I'm like, why is she crying? She's like, she just feels like crying. I'm like, this is normal. I was like, with and, and I grew up with three brothers. There's me and my, my brother, so it's all boys. So this is a complete culture shock to me. But like finding out I'm having another girl, I'm like, you know what? I'm used to it at this point. So if it's a, if it's a boy, congrats. It'll be an easier life. If it's a girl, I mean, you'll have her forever. That's that's the best part about it. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations to you, too. Shane, congrats on the win. Thank you, bro. Was game planning for Yamato a little bit more difficult given the limited amount of tape that there is on him online? No, no, because uh, we had that his most recent fight with um, Clay, so that, that gave us a lot of insight. Um, I knew I would be able to take him down. I knew I was a better wrestler and grappler. Like I said, the only thing I, I expected him to scramble more, try to go for leg locks or something like that. I kind of wanted him to do that so I could, again, force a, 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 a change of position, get to a better position for me, and then look for the finish. So, yeah. Uh, you were visibly upset last time out when you were doing the interview with us. <laughs> uh, how were you able to carry that energy into this training camp and execute like the other? I, yeah, like last time I did the media, I was going off a loss, but then one of you guys asked me how – how much easier is it that you already have your next fight booked? And I remember in that moment, I was like, oh, shit, <laughs> I do have my next fight booked. Fuck that fight. Yeah, it sucked, but now I can just focus on the next one. So that was cool. Um, yeah, let that one go completely. I got no bad blood towards OAM or that. Obviously, rooting for him to win. I would love to run that back in the future. So um, just let that shit go. Focus on just getting the win by any means necessary. But I really wanted that fucking finish. And I feel like I could have got it. So it's going to irk me a little more. And then lastly, how impressed were you with your teammates following Renfo with the second round finish? Super impressed, but I'm not surprised, motherfuckers. <laughs> yep. Sam. Yeah. Of course. You won dominantly three rounds to zero, and you got it with the grappling. Yeah. Was that the game plan going in to grappling Ishikawa? Yeah, 100. percent Like I said, I, I knew I had the the, the advantage. I think I had the advantage everywhere, but I knew it was a bigger advantage on the ground. I knew I would be a way better wrestler, way better grappler. I knew I was going to be way stronger. I mean, you could see uh, the, the size difference. I, I know I'm a, I'm a strong guy, too, and I, I felt physically stronger. So I was like, let me take the path of least resistance. But again, for the, I don't even know how many times already, I, I thought I could get the damn finish, and I'm irked that I didn't get the finish. I, I think I'm that much better of a grappler. I, it's a little frustrating. And then, like, to add on to, like, the frustration, I noticed, like, Mr. Carr, he's a bit passive during the fight. Do you feel like that was a lot of the reason why that he couldn't get the finish? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he, he he did a good job defensively on the ground. Like even though he was throwing those kind of slaps, where I was like, that's not really gonna do anything. I kind of wanted him to try to stand up. And again, that was the game plan because I mean, the guys that I'm training with, they're, I, my my team's known for the takedown defense. If we get taken down, we're bouncing our asses back up. So that's what I'm used to. And used to um, when I take somebody down, capitalizing off of them trying to get up. And he never really tried to get up, so he kind of just forced me forced himself in that guard position, just trying to slap me and throw those uh, kidney shots. So yeah. Yeah, it's 55 or, or nothing at this point. Like, <laughs> I'm too big to do 45 right now, man. Uh, I, unless you throw some crazy amount of money at me, the crazier that I'm already getting paid. Like, I like what I get paid now. If you got, you gonna have to pay me a lot more to make 45 because I'm too big for that shit now. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, premature congratulations on the baby. And Thank you. Big food guy. Oh fuck. What are we eating tonight? Uh, nothing's gonna be open, man. So we're, we're scouting some spots. Is I think it's called. You know, you know something? The well, varsity. what's it called? The varsity. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me that after. There's another one called Mr. Fry or Mr. Fry Guy or something like that. I saw it was open to two. And then Waffle House is a good backup. But I'm leaving at 7 in, mo seven in the morning, so I don't really have any options. So I can get the hell out of here and go eat something. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Shane, congratulations on the win. Thank um, you. First off, I know making promotion has been difficult for a lot of fighters, but it seems like you kind of handled that uh, transition with phrase. Uh, how good much word. has having your fights booked for you in So I touched on it a little bit on one of the other questions. Like uh, coming off my last fight was a loss. Like when you guys asked me the same thing, how good does it feel to have that next one booked? It was a weight off my shoulders almost. Like you, you, when you lose a fight you, in other promotions, you don't know when you're fighting again. You have no clue. So you just sit, and you're only as good as your last fight. Like basketball, you have a bad game, you play again next week. Fighting, you have a bad fight. You don't know when you're fighting. You're just sitting there dwelling on that bad fight, waiting to redeem yourself. Having that next fight booked already and having that schedule laid out, it, as grueling as it is physically and mentally, 
coming off a loss, it was nice. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it was packed. It was sold out. Yeah. It was awesome. The energy you could feel. It was electric. I got a bunch of friends, and family out there. My mom, my aunts, my cousins, my friends. Uh, it, it was awesome. I, I actually like this arena a lot better than the one we fought in Vegas. Yeah. And last question for me. Um, you know, you've got another daughter on the way. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, do you carry that with you um, when you take the cage? Absolutely. I got my daughter's name here. My other daughter's name here. Birthday here. My wife's initial here. I gotta find a spot for the next daughter, but yeah, every time I go into the, every time I, I go into the fights, that's the I'm sitting backstage like just thinking about it. And if I, I try not to think about it too much because I start getting teary eyed, like fighting for me is like super spiritual, and they're, they're the only thing on my mind backstage. So I gotta try to like like get them out of my mind because I'm getting <laughs> getting ready to get in a cage to try to kill somebody. So I really don't want to be thinking about my my baby girls and my wife at that in that moment. But it's who I do it for, so it's hard not to think about them. So yeah, it, you gotta find that balance. Thank you, so much. Thank you man. Yeah. Uh, it, it was it was win or nothing. Win or bust. I want I wanted the finish, all or nothing. Uh, came short with the finish, but a win's a win. Uh, it was a dominant win. I feel like I, I handedly won every round. I outstruck him every round. Uh, ground and pound. So uh, I'll, I'll take it. If I had to grade myself, I would give myself a, a C plus. Yeah. Well, I, I got to celebrate to an extent. Like, I spent the most of the day with my, my family uh, and father-in-law, and then my dad dropped me off at the airport that day. So I enjoyed most of the day. But tomorrow morning, coming home, we're going to eat some crazy shit. Some, some, one of those, like, pancake stash with, like, the, the crazy stuff on top of it. Yeah, can't wait to take my daughter's out. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Shane. Long time, no sleep. Yes, <laughs> Dan from Half the Battle. Congrats on, on the win, man. Thank you. So, two fights deep into your BFL career now. Are you starting to feel yeah. You're starting to see how things work. Yeah. You feel at home? 100%. 100%. Um, going from, honestly, coming into that first fight, I was surprised at how comfortable I felt and how welcoming the whole – I mean, I wasn't surprised at how welcome the team was, but how professional and how smooth everything went. Now going into the second one, it feels like I've been fighting with, for the PFL and with the PFL for more than just – I don't even know how many months it's been uh, for my last fight, t 10 weeks. I've technically only done two fight weeks, and they were only within two months, and it feels very seamless. It feels very uh, comfortable. Great fight. Do you have some dream fights and matchups that you want to take while you while you're here in PFL? Yeah, yeah, that, those those both would be great fights. Obviously, they're both in the playoffs, but uh, we'll see what happens. I, I I'm not I'm not, I, I'm not I don't know my my season. I just feel like it's it's not done. I feel like something might happen, so I'm just gonna stay ready. I mean, season aside, what's your dream fight? <sighs> I gotta sit back and look at that. I, I mean, anybody? Francis Ngannou, two million dollars right there. <laughs> Francis Ngannou, let's go. Francis, sign me up. Two mil. <laughs> and lastly, man, you've been here in Atlanta for a little bit. Uh, tell us about your experience at Team Octopus with Professor Key. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I came, I came to your gym this morning and I didn't even recognize you just now because you had the gi on this morning and then you're like, oh, long time to see. It's like, yeah. Oh shit, I didn't even recognize. You. But yeah, Guy was awesome, well, super welcoming, accommodating, let us use his gym. He was super, super cool guy. Come back anytime and congrats on the win. Thank you, I appreciate that, brother. Oh, man. Congratulations. Thank you, Bert. Any regrets? Uh, regrets. No regrets. When they go back and watch the fight, then I guarantee you I'll have a million more regrets after watching it. But, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, after I watch it, I, I'll, I can answer that question better. Almost just all gas, no breaks. Is that what we saw? Yeah, I, I stepped on the gas the entire time. I tried to force the finish. Again, it was um, tough to, to force a finish when you're kind of not given those opportunities. But he did a good job at defending. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. If you hit PFL goes to Puerto Rico, you know who to call. Jake Paul lives in Puerto Rico. He's part with PFL, partnered with the PFL. Finale in Puerto Rico. Come on. Come on. My dad's got a family there. I, got, I mean, so technically I have family there. I got a bunch of friends, family that will fly out there. I, in November, too, like to get away from the, the New York winter, I – I'll pack that place out like it was New York. Everybody will make any excuse to have a nice vacation out of it. Thank you.
got to be the paper cut on the finger because a, because a blister on the foot fucking sucks, especially to draining. We all have had blisters on our feet. So like when you sometimes walk in the wrong spot, you can't push off. So yeah, paper cut. <laughs>